Hi guys, Adam here from dartsreviews.tv in association with Darts Planet TV and today I'm going to be reviewing for you a set of the Daytona Fire GT02s. So let's go and open the box and GT reminds me of Grand Tourer uh, and once I went on a bit of a grand old tour I drove all the way to Australia for Game of Darts and I lost. Right then guys, here we go. Here's a closer look at the Daytona GT Fire. These are the GT02. Did I say that right? Is it Daytona Fire GT? Daytona Fire GTs. GT02 steel tip. These are the 23 gram ones and they are 95% tungsten. The box itself, it's a really nice presentation case. It looks good. We've got the blue and the greys. It's very bright. It's vibrant. It looks pretty cool. Got a little flap here at the side. We'll lift that up. And it's uh, the darts are hidden away, protected by this foam. So we'll lift that out and have a look inside. You get a little booklet there and a target sticker. Move that to one side. And then the darts themselves come uh, presented like that. Nice to look at. You've got the Daytona GT Fire um, flights. We've got the carbon stems and obviously the darts. But behind them, you get a few extra bits. You've got some spare stems in there. You've got a couple of sets of the Daytona Fire flights. You've got some flight protectors and you've also got a GT Daytona Fire badge. Badges, people love them at darts. Always got a badge. Right then, so let's have a closer look at the dart itself. So I'll give you a little bit of a, a sort of brief description of this before we sort of go into uh, too much. So the Daytona range, the GT, it's got this same distinctive grip with some of the other Daytona darts. This is a word that I'm going to probably get wrong. Trapezoidal? Trapezoidal. Trapezoidal. We're going trapezoidal. Um, and that technology and that grip is obviously machined here at the front as the dart tapers down towards the target storm points, which obviously are the ringed ones. I quite like those. And then at the rear of the dart, it's more like a ringed grip, um, but also you've got some more cu extra cuts in there at the rear where the ring grip is, just to add a little bit more to it. And then it's finished with um, this really sort of vibrant, bright blue uh, paint there. Um, so basically, they look pretty damn good, don't they? But can we throw them pretty good? Let's go and find out. All right, guys, so we've got the Daytona GT02s over to the board. Time quick, nine or 12. Hopefully, get some good scores. One hundred. One hundred. Oh, good switch. Eighty-five. Good recovery. We'll have one more handful of these. Oh, it's low. Sixty. I'm not finishing on that. One more. Last handful, I promise. I'm enjoying throwing these. They're really nice. We'll finish on a bounce out. We're going to have a summary on those. Hi there, guys. So, a quick summary on the Daytona GT Fires. Um, I will hit you with the big news first. They retail for 120 quid, 119.95 or something like that. Um, so, it is the grand high end price for the Target darts. Um, they do come in a nice presentation box. They do have the extras. Are they worth that sort of extra 40 quid or whatever it is from some of the other high end Target stuff? I don't know, um, but what I will say is I actually really enjoyed throwing these. Um, they suited me. I didn't get the bestest of scores with them, um, but I'm pretty sure if I took a set away with me and played with these for a little bit of time, I'd be okay with them. Um, I did like the grip at the rear, um, suited where I put my thumb. Um, so if you are one of those rear grippers, then there is a nice little bit of grip at the rear there. Now, the front grip of the word that I'm giving up saying, trapezoidal, 
I think it is. Trapezoidal? Something like that. That grip at the front, um, it's not too aggressive. It's not too crazy. It's almost like, you know, it felt kind of smooth on my hands. Now, obviously, I've been at work all day and I'm a tree surgeon, so my hands are going to be a bit rougher than others. So some grips will feel smoother. But it did. It felt OK. Um, got a nice purchase on the dart and I threw them all right ish. So if I was to give these a grip rating for my grip ratings, definitely a good old 3.5 in there. Not too aggressive, not too smooth, just nice. So guys, if you've got a set of these, please, please, please leave your reviews at www.dartsreviews.tv or better than all that, just download the app, Darts Reviews TV app on the Play Store and all that. And then you can leave your review. And I do understand that a certain Chris Littlewood has won this very set in my hand. So perhaps you can leave your review when they come to you in the post. Turn your notifications on. Even if you don't like it, leave a like. It's nice to be nice. See you later, guys. Cheers. Bye.